All right, guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is DeeFree, and for today's video, we are doing something that we haven't done in a really long time. The last time I'd done any sort of PvE content was more so just a guide. I think the last guide I did was, like, for how to get uh, something really quick and easy, like how to get the Green Kid Boo. That was a free character uh, back when those events were a little bit more newer, you know, the style of event. Um, and I used to sometimes do the, what was it, Challenge Rush? Like, whatever, like, this version of event that they have here, but, like, the version of it a few years ago. <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while so um i'm excited for this i hope you guys are too we're gonna be playing a quote-unquote high difficulty event they started these up again like what last week with trunks and now we have one here for goku black and frieza um so this is the team we're using i don't own frieza but i do own goku black um actually i made a mistake i'm gonna change this around i'm gonna put a blue in i, I was assuming that uh, I needed a a red. I could honestly just stick with this, but it is what it is. We'll just we'll just stick with it. Um, so yeah, I don't have the Mecha Frieza, but I do have Goku Black. Um, you notice something that's crazy happening here is obviously there's a focus on having the newer character uh, that they're trying to get you to summon because even like these characters, which is the immediate characters that came out just before the two that we just got, like these are the last like few characters that have come out uh anyways there's an extreme focus on having the new characters and that's not anything new this is traditional to gotchas this is traditional to this game too but look at what they're doing and not just in terms of stats because they're giving 200 percent inflicted damage which is twice as much as anything else um they're also getting twice as much cut they also get special move damage increase which no one else gets here but they also get neutrality wow the neutrality is ridiculous. <laughs> so they're not affected by the type disadvantages. Talk about overkill. So we're going to try this out and see how it is. Um, I'm extremely low on energy now for the first time in a long time. But we also don't have access to our trick, uh, tricky and, and cheap uh, mechanic we all love using with Float Step. If you want to know what happened to Float Step, if you're familiar with it, Check out the video that I uploaded earlier today where I talk about the nerf to that. But I'm hoping that coupling that um, the with that, the video that I talked about, I'm hoping that coupling with the change, they also made PvE a reasonable experience because PvE wasn't playable. I don't really know how to engage too much with the bot right now. I don't know what to expect. That's an easy one to play around. I don't know too much of what to expect, so we'll just see how this goes. Not bad. So I am using a boosted character with Jiren, so I hope that he is pretty decent. Don't tap punch me. Nice. Okay. So let's see what happens here. By the way, I love this uh, King Piccolo setup. Toshi, if you're listening, please tell me that one of those characters that's on the list, this is a hint for upcoming LF Demon King Piccolo, I swear you'd get me to summon. <laughs> I swear I'm summoning. All right. Destroy Dragon Ball. Thanks, King Piccolo. Anyways. All right, so yeah, I was going to go for the float step a second ago, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm glad I didn't, because it's not going to work. So, like, the key change was not just float step, but they would also, like, perfect vanish every three seconds, for example. That's not going to happen. Uh, and if they do, they probably won't always get the immediate um, combo start afterwards either. So there are lots of changes that took place. I wonder if I can engage off of this. I don't know. Yeah, okay. They did get a perfect, but you see, he didn't interact with me. He didn't counterattack. That's a really big difference. They would always act on that beforehand. I actually got an opportunity to get this after a perfect vanish. That's pretty crazy. So they, you could tell just with that change that they're they're going for and they're trying to shoot for more variants. Obviously, uh, speaking of variants, people's experiences with this will vary based on what characters you have. If you couldn't tell, this wasn't supposed to be some sort of guide video. I would have gave recommendations. I guess maybe I could still do that after I play this. It still read my inputs, by the way. It got that extra backdash only because it read my inputs. Please stop reading inputs, bots. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, I guess I can give my opinions based on this, but it's gonna it's just going to vary, right? That's always the case. So we're going to get that health and buffs and blah, blah. I'm going to use the screen for the sub count. So far, so good. I just wish I had strikes here. I dropped the combo. They didn't go for a vanish. I don't know if like they're going to do any of that PvP-centric stuff that you would typically see. All I know is that I can't... I keep wanting to go for the default float step. <laughs> it's ingrained into me now. <laughs> and I'm just like, let me do it. I wanted to burn my blue there. In PvP, I would have used the blue right there and got a vanish and then probably a counter. 
Ah, crap. Maybe I'll get it here. No, he didn't engage. Like I said, he didn't engage. Look at him, he stands still. Okay, this is not, a, that, that can't be that intentional. And I didn't want to act because he would read my inputs. Um, wow, that's so crazy. Nobody in PvP is playing that still, but most players are gonna engage there thinking they've got a perfect or whatever, um, and I can get advantage or a uh, counter hit off of that. It's one of my favorite tactics. Ah. Hmm. They even paused there in between, which is kind of interesting because it gives them a window to get their key and stuff back. Switch. Okay. I was going for the blast armor potentially. What's this gonna look like? Okay, they did a really good job there too, because a lot of times they would also just completely get garbage scores there. Okay, well I get endurance. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn, next level thinking bot. This is the yellow one, isn't it? Dang, next level thinking bot. Okay, I guessed him. This is the one that always nullifies endurance, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop reading inputs! You can tell, like, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the stupid bot knows what you're doing so they can instantly counter it. That backdash that it just did to get out of that tap punch, players can do that type of stuff in PvP, but not with that small of a window, that small of a margin for error. The bot only got that because it knew and it backdashed the split second I clicked the card. That's actually absurd. No vanish there, okay. I wanted to see if I can get that. Okay, so this is a way to cheese this. I only need to finish it in 180 counts, so that, that's an extremely easy requirement. It does, oh my god. This is why I didn't engage last time after that. I was gonna say, yeah, it just kinda just sits still. It's kinda pretty good though. Thank you, auto win. Broken mechanic that I absolutely hate. Even when it works in my favor, I hate it. I'm like, I'm like biased, right? There are things I have biases about, but I'm very, very, very unbiased when it comes to the mechanics I hate in this game. Like, you know, I always say, I get that quick like 40 second rush and I'm like, oh, I'm happy to have it. I will definitely use it because if the roles were reversed, I wouldn't get afforded the same luxury where people wouldn't use it. So I'm gonna burn it, but still take it out because I hate it. Even if I benefit from it, <laughs> still take it out. I don't want to see it in the game. All right, we got a perfect there. I, I used it late apparently, whatever, it's fine. Strike here. Also, I love how the bot has not given me a single like opportunity for a knockback at all. All right, you know what? Just because you pissed me off. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was, like I was saying, though, I, I would really like to see a LF King Piccolo. It's like, it's almost like, it's like long overdue, isn't it? Like, I can't think of anybody that's like a major villain in the series that doesn't have an LF. Outside of some of the movie villains, obviously, because we don't have like 13, we don't have like an LF Cooler, like there's a no LF Janemba, so he's not like he's at the top of the list. Actually, I would say he probably should be because he's very fundamental to the series, unlike these movie characters. Anyways, um, he should have one soon, though. Most of the mains, actually, okay, let's take out movie characters. Is he the only main series villain without an LF variant? I mean, uh, talking about Boo, for example, eliminating like Super Boo and Fat Boo, right? Um, Frieza, obviously we gotta eliminate his other forms. Yeah, he is. Like, the only one from like the main series, isn't he? Outside of the characters that aren't released yet, obviously. Off the top of my head, I might be forgetting somebody. So yeah, it's, it's like, it's overdue for sure. Um, so that wasn't terrible. I'll tell you that, that wasn't terrible. I wouldn't have had a tough time if I switched around my team to characters that were decent as well. Like, UI was good, but I didn't need him. Uh, Jiren was actually getting boosted, but I didn't need Jiren either. Um, and I don't, I don't, you know, I, I know it sounds like it's like, oh, we'll prove it type deal. But like, come on, seriously. Like if you put any like halfway decent characters here, that should have been an easy clear. Um, because if you saw, there were like three or four times the game just did not punish me when it could have, right? It almost, you know, like I said with the UI, the bot's almost too passive now. It's extremely weird because, because of what it was just a week ago. Like it's a huge difference. <laughs> so I can offer you suggestions, but you aren't gonna need them if you're halfway decent at this game because the game is gonna be easy to play. So what I'll say for a suggestion is, put in whatever boosted characters they have, just go for it, just make it easy on yourself. If you got the new characters, more power to you because you don't have to deal with type of disadvantages. So there's gonna be a number of stages. Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll do them on a daily basis. 
if I get comments saying, yeah, do it on a daily basis, it's an easy way for me to make a video. So I don't mind. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, guys, take it easy. And I'll see all of you next time. Take it easy. And I said the both of those things twice.